Well, Heidi there, Pipe Pals, how you doing? Let me get my little microphone a little bit closer there. Well, it's Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre. And uh, uh, the shadows are lengthening as uh, twilight approaches. Hmm. And it's been a long day. And uh, I am enjoying my, actually my second pipe of the evening. And um, I just thought I would take this opportunity to so I get a little bit more light on the subject here. If I do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. if I do that, that gets me way too lit, lit up. <laughs> see if I go here. There's my. I have this light that I move around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> light up your life. <laughs> get a. Get a uh, uh, what does that do? Oh, that's right. I remember that little trick there. Yeah. Hmm. You know. That's not good light. Yeah, that's a little more even, although it's not as uh, bright as I'd like it to be. If I do this, will that give me a little bit more? Well, anyway, I'm playing my <laughs> my light here. Okay, well, I've been uh, enjoying my new less wood. Hmm. And I am smoking. Again, the housekeeping, of course, we all know this is my little latest acquisition, pipe-wise, my, my less wood. Hmm. But what am I smoking in my less wood? Well, again, we've been talking, some of you have been talking about aged tobaccos, aging tobaccos. Well, uh, this is a tobacco that I had. This is another can of that Black Mallory Rat Trace. But if you remember from videos of the past, um, I had two tins. One was unopened until I opened it uh, about a month or so ago. Excellent. But the first tin I had was opened, and it's been sitting for you know ten years in an open can. Well, it was as dry as the you know Mojave Desert, and uh, so it had to be rehumidified, and I did that. And I am here to tell you that I am extremely happy with the fact that it uh, came back. Yeah, you know, I just smoked some of the stuff that uh, had been fermenting for 10 years, sealed in the can. Really enjoy that tobacco. Mm. But I'm happy to tell you that this stuff tastes, I'd say, 95% almost like the original. So I didn't lose a whole lot. It's just got great flavor. I was afraid that once I rehumidified it, it would be kind of either lose a lot of flavor, and uh, it would maybe dry, uh, dry uh, have a really harsh or hot smoke. And uh, I just smoked another bowl of it in my little Peterson Bulldog, and uh, completely enjoyable experience. And I, I probably had to relight maybe twice, and that's because I was, you know, flapping my gums. Which is what I'm going to do here. Because I already made this video, but I didn't record it. <laughs> hmm. You know, I'm going to make a confession. I do enjoy smoking my pipe. Now, <clears throat> I've always liked smoking a pipe. But I think now I'm starting to truly, truly really savor it and really truly enjoy it and I, I just uh, after today I had a long day this is my, my again even though it's my quote unquote first pipe of the day it's my second really my second pipe of the day but I didn't smoke anything until this evening so I was ready for a nice pipe hmm. so here I am enjoying my pipe my tobacco Speaking of tobacco, yes, I went to the uh, Briar Patch yet again this week, yesterday, and I want to show you some things that I got, boys and girls. Show and tell. Okay, we've been talk. I've been talking a little bit about the Borkum Riff incident, 
And so that prompted me to ask Sean at uh, Briar Patch if they had a Bork and Riff kind of equivalent. Well, they have a thing called Whiskey River. And let me tell you, um, this almost smells like a bottle of bourbon. <laughs> Uh, and have I tried it? Yes, and it's quite flavorful. It is quite flavorful, okay? Whiskey River. But that's not all. I also got, and some of you have seen this in other videos, the Vanilla Cream. And like Dan, I have to agree with you, it's just never vanilla-y enough. It just, it really lets you down. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's nothing hideous, you know. I mean, in the, from the bag, it smells wonderful, but it's just, you know. Okay, and then, boys and girls, guess what else? If you think, uh, oops, oh, almost, you get back there. Are you going to, are you sitting down for this one? This one you need to be sitting down for, I really believe. Okay. Are you resting comfortably? Okay, here we go. Can we say all together now, pirate cake? This is a true cake. And then, if you didn't think that was enough, I'm going to be opening up my own tobacco store here pretty soon. I had a mixture back in seminary, seminary, and uh, <clears throat> it was called, I thought this was a delightful title, and I've seen some of you actually, uh, I think one or two of you referenced this in your 1010 uh, uh, videos. It's a delightful English, delightful English, and it's a nice, and I just tried some of that the other night, great. Okay, so the purpose of this video um, really is to talk about, well not talk about, but to talk w with you. You see, many of us, we have our videos and we watch our videos and those of us who like making the videos, we enjoy making our videos. Um, yep, going out there a little bit. It's okay to retamp, you know, not a problem. We have the technology. Um, but uh, there's more to this pipe smoking confraternity, if you will, than just making videos and watching videos. I think the next level is you interact with the videos or the presenters in your own way. Now, we do that through comments. Uh, sometimes we even send little trinkets of friendship. That's fine, too. But I started thinking, you know, and we're already naturally starting to do it. If you've, if you've kind of watched some of the videos that I've been watching. We're starting to reference each other. We're starting to talk, to almost have a little bit of a, a dialogue and a conversation with each other. It'd be like if we were in a classroom and um, we were talking about different ideas. And, you know, you get up and you present maybe your topic of discussion and somebody says, yeah, you know, I've got something I want to say about that. Or somebody says, well, what's your take on that? Oh, well, okay, you stand up and you present your uh, you present your evidence if you will but there's a but there's a there's a dialogue you know amongst the 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 people in the community this it's just part of what you do when you form community I mean people talk to one another and so excuse me so imagine you know if we actually had a, 
a smoking lounge or a, a, a meeting hall where we all got together once a week and just kind of just brought our pipes and just sat and talked. You know, that's one of the things about, uh, and I'm going to make a little bit of a segue, a little bit of, you know, tangent, and then I'll get back to what I want to talk about. But um, in the early days of Mac Macintosh computers, it was people coming together forming Mac groups. And they all get together and they would talk about, you know, their experience with their Macintosh computers because they loved them. They thought they were great. And, but there was more to it than just turning on the computer and, you know, doing word processing, okay? It was sharing not your, you know, you know ideas and tricks of the trade and, and just your love of, hey, this is a great system. I like it. But it can even be better. And so that, uh, that kind of gives rise to what I want to talk about tonight is that, you know, a lot of you have been watching your videos. And I, I kind of feel a little bit stymied because I can't say, wait a minute, let, let me tell you what I think about that. Now, yeah, you can make a little comment, but eh. Sometimes we, you know, things can get lost in the, in the printed word. And so this way, it's just kind of a, you know, hey, you know, um, I just wanted to just talk to a few of you, you know, kind of say, well, you know, um, some, I want to re reference a few of you, you know, I really do truly enjoy the videos. Um, <laughs> I like matches 860. I mean, he has a voice that's uh, as smooth as is running water, you know. You could just sit and listen to that guy all day long. At least I could. And it's just relaxing. And it's like, you know, I could be sitting there going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And just listening to him tell his stories. Um, I just enjoy that. I just enjoy the, his his way of presenting. And it's, uh, it's very thoughtful and, and very calming almost, you know. So thanks, John, to your, <laughs> for your nice presentation style. Um, but there's other things that are a little more serious. Uh, first of all, um, Fidele has introduced me to somebody. I don't know if you saw one of her videos recently. It was a short one. You know, just kind of saying, hey, check this guy here out. His name is uh, Phil, and his uh, channel is called uh, Harry Chestnuts. He's an English guy. Um, he is the, one of the most entertaining. I mean, if the guy, I don't know why he doesn't have sit for, for. And I'm I'm being sincere is the day is long here. I don't know why he doesn't have a real TV show. This guy is that good, and he makes some really great uh, videos. They're they're really quality. I mean, he's got costumes. Uh, I mean, I don't know where he gets all of his stuff, but he's good and he's an excellent speaker. It's a wonder he doesn't go into Parliament. But, you know, he's got his uh, passion. You know, he's, he's, he's going to tell you what he, how he feels about the anti-smoking uh, lobbyists, I guess, there in the UK. You know, those people that are basically taking away everybody's freedoms. Well, we're experiencing that here in this country, too. And so, <clears throat> but he has a whole bunch of really well done uh, videos excellent just excellent so you can't go wrong you could sit there and watch that guy all day and you'd go yeah this guy's good and then keeping in the same vein of you know we're kind of all now gathered together in our virtual smoking lounge thank you vsl david <laughs> um you know fidelity also talked about some of the trollism that's going on out there a lot of trolls out there i've noticed a lot of trolls lately too and I don't care. You know, as most of you know, I like when I make my videos, I got some kind of classical music uh, playing in the background. I don't have any music right now. But I got doggies. Doggies in the background. They're, you know, it's nighttime now and dusk has fallen. Um, but, um,. I remember one of my composers, the ones that one of the composers I really admire and enjoy, Dmitry Shostakovich. 
um, said something I thought was really interesting. He said, if you really want to get a sense of how your work is being perceived by the public, he says, you know, if a lot of people are, you know, really down on it, well, that's not really a, an accurate indicator of, of the quality of the work. And he said, if everybody's praising into the skies, yeah, there's not much to that either. But you begin to find out that there's something of value in what you've been presenting to the public when there's kind of a mixed bag. You know, some people really like it and some people really hate it, you know. So if I see a lot of thumbs down on one of my videos, I kind of go, hmm, I wonder, wonder, wonder what people are responding to. And most people don't respond when they just put a thumbs down. That's okay. But it points to something that she says that there's a lot of trollism and it's going to only get worse. And I'm inclined to agree with her. And then uh, Dan, good old Northern Smokey. Uh, by the way, Dan, the announcement of this is pretty darn good, I'll tell you that right now. I think the Northern Smoke guests would, would, would actually like this. If you're really nice, I'll send you some. What I call this is my resurrected Black Mallory. Maybe that's what I'll call this one, resurrected Black Mallory. Ooh, I like that. Because it's true. It's true. Um, <laughs> this isn't a toupee. It's just <laughs> my hair's uh, I kind of got tired of trying to you know comb it out. Um, but... Um, <clears throat> But he talked about those kids, and they really were kids. I went and checked them out. I didn't chew them out because uh, they hadn't subscribed to me, and I wasn't going to certainly subscribe to them. And, you know, Dan has a valid point. You know, we got to be careful that, you know, if it looks like we're somehow, you know, luring minors into the pipe-smoking fraternity, you know, that, that just could really... You know that could that wouldn't bode well for us, you know. Um, and again, I don't think and no one out there is doing that. And no one else even trying to do that. We just assumed that these were people were adults. But I did went I went and watched a couple of their videos, and they're kids. They are literally minors. So now, I, on one hand, as I mean, as a kid, I remember. I, I think I made a video. Actually, I did make a video. I haven't posted it yet. I have a whole bunch of videos that I. Well, actually, I probably have posted them, you know. I made a... So I'm making this video. I have, like, five in the queue that haven't been uploaded yet. That should scare you. Actually, it shouldn't because I've, if you're watching this one, they've already been posted. But, um... What was I going to say? When I was a kid, you know, I, um... There was a... You know, my brother smoked a pipe, and I thought it was cool. I thought it was great. I loved the smell of it, you know. And I thought it'd be cool if I had my own little kid pipe kind of thing and I could smoke you know <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen because I was a kid <laughs> that's why I started chewing tobacco that's all <laughs> beach nut huh nice and sweet right yeah I tried that once and I got sick as a dog <laughs> it might taste sweet but you don't swallow it mm, big mistake I think my mom knew that was going to happen, so I, I finally, because I was watching, I, not, I'll, this this video hasn't posted yet, but it's a, it's going to be a tribute to Bob Wilkins, the late great Creature Features host. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Bob Wilkins in a, in, in a, in a future video. And I'll tell you my story about wanting to smoke a pipe and a cigar like Bob did. So I think I got a, my mom let me get some <laughs> chewing tobacco. And not knowing how you chew tobacco... I got sick as a dog one night, and that was the end of my chewing tobacco for a long time. <laughs> I think she knew exactly what was going to happen. She thought, okay, you can do that. <laughs> sure. It didn't work out too well. <laughs> but anyway, um, but Dan, you know, had, a, had, had some real strong misgivings and concerns, and rightly so, about these, uh, these miners who are, are passing themselves off as adults. Um, and I noticed a lot of us, um, there were a lot of people that I know subscribed to them, 
or they were subscribed to by these kids. And they were subbing them. So they probably just thought, oh, hey, thanks for the sub. You know, nine times out of ten, I will go to the channel and I'll kind of look around. And I'll be honest with you, there's, there's some people, if I get a really bad feeling on certain videos, and it's only happened on a few occasions, I just, I won't, I won't say anything. I'll just, I'll kind of like, okay, you know. Um, also, when people want to, you know, instantly friend me, you know, sorry. If I don't know you. I ain't going to friend you, okay? And don't do not do that. It's nothing personal. Now, there's many of you right now, tonight, and I think many of you know who you are. If And I think you already are friended. And if you are, if I if we've exchanged and we've talked about things and, you know, and you want to friend me, great. You know, that's fine with me. If I know you, if I've, if I've come to know you in the context of the last four months that I've been on YouTube and this channel, then that's not a problem. But when I get these instant friend requests from people I don't even know, I just let them, I just ignore them. Sorry. I don't mean to be snobbish if it appears that I'm some, you know, snob. I'm not. It's just, I don't, if I don't know you, don't pretend to be my friend because you're not. Doesn't say you can't be someday soon, but who knows. But don't, but don't instantly expect me to do a friend re reply or response or, or return that because I, I probably just will just, you know, quietly let it go. But I just thought it was interesting that some of you have had some really great comments <clears throat> about the nature of our community as pipe smokers. And in many ways, it's like uh, when I watch your videos, uh, it's like I'm kind of right there with you, you know. I'm listening to you. I'm, I'm following you. I'm, I, I want to be like, yeah, I want to be sitting there with my pipe or, you know, uh, whatever, and just sit there and listen and... And then every now and then say, well, you know, this is, here's, here's my take on it. You know, and, and in many ways, Jay has kind of been the father, if you will, of kind of moving this beyond, you know, just watching videos and making videos. He makes us now interact with, you know, not just his questions, but uh, but other people are starting now inter to do this more of an interaction kind of approach to the videos. So that is my reason for making this particular video is to kind of expand and augment, you know, the experience, you know, of talking more directly to different presenters that I like and and have grown to uh, enjoy over the last four months. And uh, and there's a lot of you out there, and there's a lot of a lot of you uh, that um, I really, you know, just I, you know, I truly, truly enjoy your videos, but I also you know, really enjoy, you know, having a, a dialogue with you, a conversation with you. <clears throat> and, um, you know, <laughs> I was going to tell Herman this. I guess I'll make it public now. I, I, don't get excited. Don't get offended here. But, and, and, and those of you who have been watching my videos, you knew this was coming. And, you know, you'll go, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Maybe you wouldn't want to see it, but <laughs> I am thinking about getting one of those Utila kilts. I really am. Um, uh, I just I just don't know why. I'm that kind of a guy, you know. I don't care what people think or, you know, whatever. You know, now, again, if I was going to do something inappropriate, well, that's different. But, I mean, I think wearing a kilt would be pretty doggone cool, literally. <laughs> okay, so with that, my friends, thank you for listening to my ramblings tonight. It's a joy to watch your videos and now interact with many of you on a little bit more of a kind of a friendlier basis here, intimate basis, if you will. So, um, if you'd like to respond, please do so. Love to get a video response. That'd be kind of cool. You don't have to. It's a free country still. And, uh, well... If you watch my friend, the Harry Chestnuts guy, maybe it's not such a free country anymore, whether it's in the UK or the USA. Kind of losing a lot of our precious freedoms, that's for sure. But anyway, another commentary for another time. Again, but if you want to light up your world, light up your pipe. And thanks for watching.